Hey everybody, Jay Mannion here at the MPC Photo Gym and I'm here with IFBB Bikini Pro. Teresa Miller. And she's here to do her road to the Pittsburgh Pro. Yeah. So she was just telling me how she almost got blown away getting out of the Uber in front of the building here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm from Florida, so it's a very windy. It wasn't too bad weather-wise, though. It was actually 71 here yesterday. Yeah. You must have chased away the warmth. Yeah. I didn't bring any clothes. All I have is like a light sweater. That's all I own. That's all Be we careful how you say that. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to give people the wrong impression there. Yeah. You brought a small amount of clothes, right? Exactly. Not really winter appropriate. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you're a bikini competitor, you know. Why not? You can fit everything in a purse. Yeah. Your, your suit, heels, everything. Yeah, I packed pretty light, but it's good for a girl, you know. Okay, so first time here in Pittsburgh. First time here at the MPC Photo Gym. I always ask this question because everyone always set, talks about it. Mm -hmm. So is this place bigger than you thought it was? I was actually just going to say that because I didn't know this was the actual room until I saw the famous wall, um, but looking at it now, this place is huge. They have so many hammer strength machines. I'm excited. You have everything you need here. Yes. So you're kind of, kind of spoiled. Yes, very much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because everyone says they only see little bits and pieces from pictures and the videos. It's true. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. And especially when you come into the building, I had no idea this was inside. Right. You know what I mean? I was just following your directions. Yes. We have a building that has zero signage on it on purpose. Mm -hmm. As I say, we're hidden in plain sight. Mm -hmm. I give everybody directions and a photo of the building yeah. so they know where they're going. Yeah. And when you come in, it's very quiet. At least it was for me. So right. I'm in the right place. There's a corridor with lots of doors. It's kind of like a little maze. Yeah. We just don't want, because this isn't a public gym, we just don't want people showing up here. Yeah. Which people have in the past. Really? Because someone told them where it was and they figured they figured it out. It was like a quest for them. It, you know what? This is almost like a gym speakeasy, you know, where you could have like a password where nobody right. knows it. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, anyways, Pittsburgh Pro, first time you're doing it. First time. And there's going to be a lot of fierce competition from what I hear. Well, you're in it, so it's going to be fierce. But you're starting off your season not in Pittsburgh. Where, where are you starting? We are starting off in Salt Lake City, Utah at the Wasatch Warrior Show. Hopefully I said that right. Wasatch, yes. Wasatch. Wasatch. I could be my Pittsburgh way of saying it, but that's all I say. Wasatch, Wasatch, Wasatch. Yeah, so um, I would actually compete at that last year, and it was just a beautiful venue. I love that one. Um, it's a little bit farther from Florida, but we have that. Then two weeks later, we have Girl Power in Orlando, and then uh, Pittsburgh Pro the following weekend, which is my birthday weekend, actually. So oh, it'll great. It'll be, be a nice little... So should I be a jerk and ask how old you're going to be? <laughs> I'm going to let you guess. I'm going to be an even bigger joke and tell you to guess. How old do you think I am? Uh, I'm going to say you're going to be 32. 31. Wow, this guy added an extra year. <laughs> I based it off of what you do for a living. That's yeah, why. That's true. You know what's funny is people always think I'm in my 20s, but darn, he's the first one that called me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been in the sport for a while, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be 31, guys. So you're the big 3 0 right now. Yeah. It sounds, it hits different than 29, you know, just has a different ring to it. That's okay. My next, my next birthday is going to be double what yours, what you are now. Big C 60? Yeah. Oh, wow. What are you doing? Anything special? I don't know. It's in November. Okay. All right. It's just another day, right? It is. Especially when you get to 30. Then. Now it's an extra day. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, you're, you're not offended I almost get your age, are you? No, I'm actually impressed. I'm very impressed. Because I don't think I've had someone to say I look 30 yet. So it, it's... I didn't say you look 30. I based this on what you do for a okay. living and how long you've been competing. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that was my basis. It's not, yeah. it's not on your physical looks. See, I use my little bit of my brain power. Yeah. One. Yeah. Well, you did good. Um, so if people, if people are going, well, what does she do for a living? Why did you say that? Well... Right now, I'm an online nutrition coach, but before I did that, I was a teacher for six years. I taught first and second grade, and that was boot camp, for sure. Um, but, you know, coaching is kind of like teaching, just in another setting. So, And I got my, uh, my pro card in 2018, so technically I've been a pro for four years. Mm -hmm. Four years, yeah. Tell them what contest that was. It was Junior Nationals in Chicago. has a real soft spot in my heart. 
I always remember that show. But I actually did, um, my first national show was Junior USA's. I got top two. And that is the only show, I believe, where if you don't get top two, you don't get your pro card. Is that correct? Yeah. So um, right after that, I went into Junior Nationals and uh, sealed the deal right there yep. in Chicago. Now I heard they don't have it in Chicago anymore. No, it's, it's in um, Chattanooga. Mm. Almost at Nashville, but it's Chattanooga. Mm-hmm. I fly into Nashville and then drive over. Yeah. Reason being is, I because the only way to get to Chattanooga, you have to take a regional jet, and my camera bags don't fit overhead, mm-hmm. so they'd want me to put them underneath, and I'm not going to do that. Oh. So yeah. I'll do the two-hour drive. Mm-hmm. Between, That's better. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's been, I, I, you know, I've been. So a- when did you stop teaching? Uh, two years ago. This will be my third year. I'm going into my third year of online nutrition coaching. So. And it's nice. I really love it. Now, we have a kind of a funny story. <laughs> Are you going to talk about the keys? <laughs> yes. So, Debbie and I had gone on vacation in Key West, and I'm thinking, I'm not going to see anybody there that I know. And literally, the first day that we were there, if you know anything about Key West, Duval Street is the main street where all the restaurants and bars and shops and everything are. Mm-hmm. We're literally walking down, and I see somebody sitting outside eating and I said to Debbie I go oh my god there's T Miller and Debbie goes who I go pro bikini and I literally grab her and I push her across the street <laughs> right <laughs> and I just no offense we just didn't want to see anybody yeah. right well ironically we ran into two NPC competitors later on that week oh really yeah I wasn't even supposed to be there I was supposed to be skiing in Vail Colorado but there was a snowstorm so last minute we had to change our flights and we're like we'll just go to the Keys you know and it's very close to Tampa. It's like an hour flight. Right. Very close. So, so I had put on a post about how we were there. and we, mm-hmm. There was an IPB Pro Bikini competitor that we saw. And no offense to whoever it was. I didn't, I didn't say it was her. I said, we, I ran Debbie across the street. And you know what? It, it made me double take because I was like, is he talking about me? Because I was in the Keys. But I didn't. In the time yeah, frame, yeah. Yeah. So. So Tim Gardner had the Miami Advice seminar last year. So I see her sitting in the audience when I'm up on stage. So I walk up there later. I go, hey, how'd you enjoy Key West? And she goes, that was me. I go, yes, it was you. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was. And here he is just trying to dodge people. <laughs> so, well, good thing I didn't. I didn't. No, you were it's like. the eye contact moment, maybe. You were probably about from here to that third machine away. Yeah. And I spotted you. Yeah. So I, it gave enough time to veer across the street. To escape. To dodge it. <laughs> you, you know exactly what I was talking about because you were sitting yeah. outside. Yeah. And facing the street. That's how I saw you. Yeah. And it, it's a busy little street, too. So yeah. There's a lot of a lot going on. Right. So it was a funny story. Mm-hmm. So then I called Debbie over and introduced her to yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. She's a sweetie. But, yeah, I, it was just like, you know, what, what are the odds? The whole reason we went there was we're saying, I know there's a pro that lives down there, but I figured seeing her would be a, a long shot. Yeah. I did not anticipate to be seeing literally three people. Yeah. And I wasn't supposed to be there. So it was almost. So it was you. And then there was two NPC bikini competitors that uh, were in the nationals. And I had happened to had spoken to them backstage and they're literally walking down the street. And they're like doing this. They're like, and Debbie goes, so I'm assuming you know them too. Right. I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> There's no getting away from that one. We're a woman. She probably just wants more time than you do. <laughs> just away from the competitors. So, I mean, it was, you know, we were just there to have fun. That's yeah. Why. Did you have a good time? Yeah, we did. Yeah. After we ditched you. Yeah. <laughs> After they ran the other direction. <laughs> so I, I was telling people you know, about that story. They're like, why didn't you want to see her? I go, no offense. I go, it wasn't just it wasn't anything personal. We just wanted to be on vacation. Mm-hmm. You got but, something to do that much. Well, when we do, the problem is no matter where we go, we run into somebody that we know from the NPC or IPB Pro League. Man, it's awful being so popular, isn't it? <laughs> it's not being popular. It's just happened to know everybody. Yeah. Like I tell everybody, like I told everybody at that seminar when you were there, I said the 30 pros that were sitting on stage, I saw every one of them turn pro, just like I saw you turn pro. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. It's pretty cool, though. And somehow I retain all that information. You do have a really good memory. For this? Yeah, you do. <laughs> You're always giving me facts. A little history rundown. Ask this guy. <laughs> all right, so... You've got a new coach for this year too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm working with um, Team Atlas, James. We actually started working together last year, so it's still fairly fresh, but 
Um, we worked really well together. I got my best placing um, with him having a coach. Prior to that, I was coaching myself, you know, which is doable, but you know, it's hard because I really needed that objective pair of eyes. And, you know, I just, I needed someone to kind of take that pressure off of me. And um, so we worked together and I got top five at Hurricane Pro. And that was my best placing ever. And then from there, we knew I needed to take a little bit of break. Um, but we were really happy with my muscle development. So for me, it was more about like taking a break from metabolic recovery and um, doing it in a proper way so it wasn't um, gaining too much body fat so that now um, I can jump right into um, contest prep, which I have been since January right. and getting ready for. And to be able shows. to do these back-to-back -back contests, which are. Yeah, and it's tough, you know. So. Wasatch and Girl Power, just, it's two, they're two weeks apart, but yeah. Girl Power and Pittsburgh are a week apart. Yeah. And, you know, the traveling aspect is just as exhausting, you know, and you still have to make sure you're getting in your training. Yeah, I mean, you're literally going to go across country, go home, and then come up yeah. to here. Exactly. And that's probably the most, which it's smart to do it that way, because when you're in season, when you're at your peak conditioning-wise, you want to knock out a bunch of shows. So I, really, I do really like how that's lined up. Um, and to get feedback like week to week to week and be able to make those really small acute changes for the right. next show is going to be a key change. Yeah. Yeah. So you're excited about Pittsburgh? I am. I am. And I was thinking about it because it's a big show. I mean, big, like awesome. Every time I stand here, everybody hears me say it so I don't have to repeat myself because just go look at the other interviews. Yeah. I mean, it's just like the most amazing athletes are here. So I think like a younger version of myself would be intimidated by it. But now I'm just like, well, if I want to be at that level, you have to, you have to put yourself in the fire. You have to put yourself in it. So. Well, I always say to everybody, no matter what division they're in, whether they're in the men's physique, classic figure, um, you know, bikini and now wellness and women's physique that when or not, you can always get critiques to do better because mm -hmm. the ultimate goal is the Olympia. Yeah. It's to qualify for the Olympia and not just place in the Olympia, you want to go to the Olympia and be competitive to win it. Yeah. You know, I, I said to a lot of competitors over the years, are you qualifying for the Olympia for a vacation or are you actually going to compete? Mm -hmm. and you know how many of them have told me that they just want to be qualified, that they don't care where they place? Really? And I'm just like, why would you torture yeah. yourself, do all this work and dieting just to say that you were, you, you know, you qualified for the Olympia and you walked on the Olympia yeah. stage? And you know what? Maybe it's bite-sized goals. Maybe once they touch that Olympia stage and maybe now they're like, wow, I've tasted it. Now I want to go back and get a little bit more. It's, it's funny how competitors turn everything into something with food at some point. <laughs> bite, bite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, if I look, if I qualify for Olympia this year, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what my reaction is going to be. It's going to be crazy. You've got just as good a chance as everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm trying to tell myself that. But, you know, I think going to these shows and, you know, putting yourself up against the best, that's setting your mind up for, right. you know. And, and it's no secret, especially for Pittsburgh, that Laura Lee's doing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did the whole video of her signing her contract here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so everybody kind of knows that already, yeah. you know, with her just winning at the Arnold and everything. But again, it's like anybody can win on any given day because everybody can have a bad day. Mm -hmm. So... I, I know a lot of competitors will be intimidated knowing that she's doing the contest, mm -hmm. you know. Of course. And, and many others, too, yes. are doing it that you're like, wow, this is going to be good. Yeah. 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 We've had the, the Pittsburgh Pro Bikini has a long history. Uh, as I told you, I said every Bikini Olympia champion except for one has competed in the Pittsburgh Pro Bikini at some point in time. Mm -hmm. The very first Pittsburgh Pro Bikini champion went on to be... Uh, the 2012 Bikini Olympia champion. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the woman that won the very first Bikini Olympia did Pittsburgh the first year. She didn't win Pittsburgh, but she won the Olympia. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the main goal. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's going to be good. It's yeah. going to be good. It's, it's, it's a, uh, it is a tough contest. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say it's not. Mm -hmm. You know? And you have a judging panel that all of them judge the Arnold and the Olympia. Mm -hmm. So... That's why you get the best critiques, especially if, and if you're an NPC competitor, you have that same judging panel. You can learn from that also. Yeah, absolutely. I think, 
and having those shows, well, for me, having the shows leading into Pittsburgh Pro, every feedback they give me, you know, I'm going to be able to come into Pittsburgh knowing that right. fresh feedback. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited about that. So when you came here, you got a little bonus. You got, you got to meet the Prez. I know. I know. Well, he was running late. But, which I heard is nothing normal or nothing unusual from you. I'm cutting that part out. <laughs> so, uh, we had a nice little chat. Um, but, yeah, he's a really cool guy. He's awesome. He's out, he was out here just doing some tricep dips. I'm just like, okay, all right. <laughs> I didn't know he got it like this. <laughs> well, when you have this as, yeah. your, as your personal gym. Yeah. Because I know we say to people, it's not a, it's not a technically a private gym. It's because people automatically think of like a turnkey gym or something. It's n this isn't not, this is not open to the public, which mm -hmm. is like I said, why there's nothing on the outside of the building. Mm -hmm. And you don't do virtual tours? So no. You just leave them hanging? Yes. Okay. Yes. You, you have to be invited here. Mm. Oh, so I feel special now. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's really cool. Like, uh, I was not anticipating all of these machines, you know, but I feel like you have to, cause you got bodybuilders coming in here and they'll get, they get a little, you know, and we have a, as you see the dumbbells over there, we have a whole bunch of them go up to like one fifty. I was going to ask, what do they go up to? Cause I know those bodybuilders get a little, they get a little, uh, meticulous about their, yes. about their dumbbells. Well, it's like going back whenever the rock had trained here and he was asking us, where can he go to train in my Father happened to say, well, we have our own gym. We have, we have a private gym. And I know he's thinking of something that's probably like 50 by 50, some little studio. He said, well, I need all this heavy weight. I need, um, and he's like, yeah, we have all that. I need dumbbells. And he goes, my dad goes to me, he goes, what do our dumbbells go to? I said, I think they go to 150. He goes, you know, does that work for you? And he's like, yeah. Because the connotation of a private gym is not this. No. No, they got everything. Cables. You got a Smith machine. I'm trying to see. You got a squat rack? Um, yeah, it's over here. Okay. I had to think about it for yeah. a second. <laughs> they got a squat rack. You're good. Now, this is the former Mannion's gym, but my father used to have a gym here. Mm -hmm. This wall was not here. This was open, and all the leg machines were in here. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, for those of you that do not know, on the other side of the wall here is the MPC Activewear Clothing Warehouse, where all the official MPC and IFBB clothing, it's, it gets everything gets shipped out from here. Mm hmm yeah, it's huge. I didn't realize this was the the local point where they do all of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. The NPC and IP Privilege Office is actually three blocks down the street. Mm, okay. They just moved there a couple couple years ago. It was actually in the city of Pittsburgh, and they were looking for a place, and just ironically found it right close to here. And how long has it been here? Like what the office? This whole, yeah, this whole thing. You guys oh, this for the gym. Yeah. Uh, when he opened up the gym, that was in 1979. Got some history. So, like I said, and plus, every Mr. Olympia from Lee Haney on has trained here, like literally trained here at one point in time. That's really cool. So you see this poster on the wall, which I keep pointing to in interviews. I'm going to have to do a picture of it mm -hmm. to insert it. It shows Arnold Schwarzenegger and Franco Colombo guest posing at the Pittsburgh back in, that's 1976. Mm -hmm. Now, you see where it says Hilton? Well, that the hotel that we're having the contest in this year to help the Wyndham Grand used to be the Pittsburgh Hilton. Oh, okay. So the stage that you're competing on is actually a stage that Arnold Schwarzenegger gets posed on after he had already won six Olympias. That's really cool. So not many people could say that they were on the same stage as Arnold Schwarzenegger. I like that. The people at the Wyndham, I was explaining that to them. I actually have, ironically, pictures of him from guest posing mm -hmm. when I was just dallying and starting with photography. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So there's a lot of history there. Very cool. So... All right. Now, is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to while we're here? <sighs> In terms of like just anything, support, man, I, I'll shout people out. People you like, people you don't, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, just, it's yeah. a free, fall, free for all. You know, I think just anyone who, who's supported me in any way. Bodybuilding's hard. I think any person who's gone through the bodybuilding journey, you're, you find out a lot like who's for you, who's against you. And you kind of always just have to be there for yourself no matter what. Um, and then, of course, all my sponsors, like Susie Swimwear, they've been with me for a while now. Um, James has been doing awesome with me. He's my coach. And um, I'm with Bombshell now. So Bombshell has uh, some cute fitness apparel, and I really appreciate them. But, yeah, that's pretty much all my shout-outs. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how many weeks to uh, Wasatch? 
or how many days? I'm sure you know. Yeah. So what's today now? Friday, Thursday? Yeah. I think it's like 13. No, it's like two weeks. It, it, it'll be two weeks on Saturday. So yeah. that means 16 days, 15 days. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up quick. All right. Coming up real quick. But then we'll be, we'll be back here May 6th and 7th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, be. yeah. Friday night is the pre-judging for all of the divisions. And you will actually have your finals that night. Now, there's two of the finals they're holding until Saturday. That's the pro wellness and pro men's physique. Uh -huh. But all of your contests will take place on Friday. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. Very cool. So, and we will, we will have a live stream available. You will? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, we will have that just like last year. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if you heard the story about last year, but it almost broke the pay per view. No, I did not. Yeah, it literally, it literally, it literally did because, like I told you, this was the Pittsburgh Pro Wellness was the very first international, and there was as the people um, that ran the uh, the whole pay per view for us told us they've never had it where everybody to purchase the, the pay per view, the live stream was on at the same time. It broke the bandwidth. Oh my God. I mean, I'm not surprised. So, but you know, I think a lot of you, like not even just spectators, but people who have been waiting for wellness to come into position. Well, and then we also, it was also like a one-two punch because the Pittsburgh Pro Wellness went right into the Pittsburgh Pro Bikini. But wellness literally broke down right after, right as they were getting ready to do the, um, the comparisons. It was during the individual routines. There was like four women left and it, it went down, but they got it up in time so everybody could see all the comparisons. <laughs> and then we'll be able to watch bikini also. Yeah, you always got to stay for bikini. Yes, and that information will be coming out in the future. So awesome. just keep an eye on the uh, mpcpittsburgh.com website and the Instagram page. Awesome, very cool. All right, so anything else? Nah, just wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Wish her luck because she's going to be stuck with me at all three of those contests. Yeah. She's going to be seeing me. Yeah. I won't be I won't be hiding from her this time. <laughs> no, we're shooting there's, together. So. Yes, there's no hiding this yeah. time. All right. Well, J.M. Mannion. Teresa Miller. Signing out for NPC News Online, and we'll see you in Salt Lake City, Orlando, and Pittsburgh. Yeah, see you. All right.